Hey guys, we're back with the Manips um, tutorial. I'm going to show you a little bit more of the complicated side. Um, not so complicated because these are dark backgrounds, but they're a little bit more advanced than the white ones. So let me just minimize my little bit there. And I already sorted them out so that I know which ones will go which. So I will show you two examples if I get the time frame here going. And these, you know, they have pictures with others, so it won't be so hard. And again, my images are very, very large. So with both of them, they have that dark background, so what I'm going to do is First, let me just adjust the size a little bit. I'm going to do them a thousand each. Move it to 50. And for each one, I'm going to select whatever they have on the background. Actually, I'm just going to do Megan's. So sad to get rid of you. because I'm going to put them a little bit more together for so I'm not going to go too far down so and then I go back and I erase a little bit of it My barrels are perfect size now. So let me just move this a little bit. And it's kind of hard to see between them, but. I can see between them. So we're just going to go right there. See how it kind of gives that visual that is like pretending to be Mega's hand and whatnot. See how her background kind of looks in a way, in a sense that it continues to this one. So now I'm going to leave it up to there. And now I have to worry about deleting Jenna. If you never use this tool, my first Maddox one, I explained the beauty of it. It's not perfect, but it still helps you tremendously in any racing. And even though the edges are a little bit rough, as I stated, but you see how you can already have them 
And I don't know why Diana's always a little bit more yellow. Maybe she's just more tanned than Megan. But, but let's go. too reddish. See how that red? Just a tiny bit. Doesn't matter to me on my end like how light skin there will be because my actions will take care of it anyway. I'm just going to... Uh, nah. Let me just erase. And I'm just going to go quickly. There's a reason why I, I do very large images so that I can better see. nothing that I'm missing there are the girls and I'm just gonna bring them say just one rough one just in case if the action's you know it's too weird or whatever like some actions do that oh that's just beautiful and let's just make it 450 then you zoom it and see how two pictures they look like from the same thing, you know, makes it very natural looking, and I think that's, that's just, you know, with the darker background, so when I use the actions, it takes care of everything else, and it smooths it, and you can go back and um, you can add the surface blur so that they are a little bit more smoother but that's pretty much it for the dark backgrounds once you know how to do the white and the back and the black ones and the candids you're on your way to being very very successful okay I hope you learn and leave me kudos comments if um, these work for you and if you're very pleased then you know Leave me some love in my pre-race or the YouTube, okay? Thank you. Bye-bye.